Central Texas Gunworks, a local Austin gun shop, is the first retailer in the United States to accept bitcoins as payment for new and used firearms. To tell us more about this, we have the owner of Central Texas Gunworks, Michael Cargill. All right, Michael Cargill, thank you for joining us. Thank you for so having me. So you are the first dealer to sell guns, firearms, uh, not just firearms, but also accessories, with the acceptance of Bitcoin. Can you tell us more about this decision to go the Bitcoin route? Oh, definitely. Um, we decided to do this. I've been looking into it for like a good year now, mm -hmm. and I've been watching Bitcoin as, it, as it's grown, uh, going from, I guess, five years ago from like uh, $20 to now $800. Oh, yeah, it's been a and, massive jump. Oh, yes, and I decided, you know, well, all these people are getting into Bitcoins and they're making all this good kind of money. Well, you know what? I need to give them, you know, an option of purchasing firearms, you know, in my shop using some of that, you know, some of those uh, funds. And we see more and more vendors starting to accept Bitcoins, uh, some of your larger retailers, even uh, to some extent, some of your Amazons and things such as that, looking towards those, those ways of payment. So, you know, obviously you're into it. Do you think other dealers are into these, uh, these type of things? I think they should go toward using Bitcoin because it's going to be a little more secure than using credit cards. I mean, we've watched, you know, Target, uh, them go through this yes. little mm -hmm. problem that they've had. Well, you know what? Uh, Bitcoin's a little more secure. Uh, you're not going to get your information stolen. Um, and then and people also talk about scams. Well, you know what? You can be scammed doing anything. A person can pull a scam on you using cash. Mm -hmm. They can pull a scam on you uh, with checks. They can pull a scam on you with credit cards. So you need to you know, keep your stuff safe, keep your information safe and off the web, and it's a little more secure. And the volatility of Bitcoin, at least in these early days, we've seen some uh, big influxes in the market. Does that concern you at all? No, not at all. Um, I think that this is actually going to grow to probably about, uh, I, I expect it to go up its high as $10,000, you know. Oh, yes, definitely. So uh, I think people should get into it and get involved into it. It's a little more secure and it's the way to go. Right. And I know you uh, know Cody Wilson, the guy, the printable gun pioneer. He's also into the dark vault. You got a smile on your face. <laughs> Have you gotten any uh, inside tips from Cody as far as dealing with the Bitcoins? I, I, I got a text message from Cody. <laughs> I don't know where he is, you know, in the world. I, 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 I was told he was in the United States and someone told me he wasn't. But I got a text message and it said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I so guess he's definitely right. excited about it because, you know, we're, you're mixing two things, two things very popular with our viewers. You got guns on one end, you got Bitcoins on another, you got the marriage together. And as far as I know, you're the pioneer. You're the guy leading off. Uh, you don't know if any other retailers, gun sellers looking into this? I, there's someone that does use firearms, but we're the first one to do new firearms, use firearms, NFA items, uh, your suppressors, your automatic rifles, uh, classes, concealed handgun classes, everything, and say, hey, you can purchase this on our website. You can mm -hmm. go directly to our website and purchase a firearm and, you know, have no fear. You know, people are saying, well... Is this something that people are going to start, you know, purchasing firearms with illegally? Mm -hmm. We're still going to do the same thing. Uh, you're going to purchase that firearm using Bitcoin. We're still going to come in. You're going to fill out the 4473. We're going to call the FBI and do the background check because we have to. I'm glad you clarified that because you'll have a lot of the naysayers that, well, this is just more one more step. You know, we won't be able to track anybody because they're using Bitcoins. You know, like you can track people with cash. That's so <laughs> such a, a, a normal thing to happen. But, Mike, since I got you here, I want to talk about some local news going on here as well in the city of Austin. Now, we've seen the, uh, the gun shows here messing around with the city council and all that. They don't want us to have the gun shows. Can you elaborate on that? Right. What they're trying to do is they're trying to shut down the sacks at gun show. Uh, they want them to do universal back, well, background checks mm -hmm. you know, for everyone, even for a private sale. Right. And what we're saying is I'm ask, asking the promoter of the sacks at gun show to stand his ground. Mm -hmm. Under no circumstances, you know, um, fold to, you know, uh, just like I, I heard someone once say, you know, we don't even negotiate with um, domestic terrorists. Yes. You know, and I consider them domestic terrorists. Mm -hmm. You know, under no circumstances, allow them to write into a contract that you're going to make everyone do a background check, even for a private sale. That is illegal. A private individual cannot call the FBI and get a background check on another individual. Mm -hmm. I, as a gun store owner, cannot, even if someone walks into my gun store and they want to sell me a firearm, I can't even call the FBI, the ATF, to find out if that firearm has been stolen or reported stolen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a, a private individual cannot call the FBI and do a background check. Exactly. Now, Mike, let me get your, your take on just background checks in general, not talking about so much the gun shows. But do you think background checks are a good thing? 
for someone to walk into the gun store to do the, and, and we have to do the background check, that's something that we have to do. But a private sale from one individual to another, absolutely not. We should not regulate private sale of one item to another, you know, to another individual. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't do that with anything else. So why should we do that with firearms? Exactly, exactly. Now I want to get your take on this. I know you're an advocate for people being, being able to carry their firearms on campus. We recently saw the situation in Florida where after an attack, a uh, school actually reversed its decision and now allows students to carry their firearms, at least in their vehicles. Mm. And we did the same thing here in Texas where, you know, it was always legal um, for a CHO holder or anyone to have a firearm inside their vehicle on the college campus. Uh, but the the universities would come up with a rule and said, hey, if you, we find out that you have a firearm in that vehicle, we're going to expel you or suspend you from school. So the legislator came back on September 1st, 2013, and it went into effect that the colleges and universities can no longer do that here in Texas. And I'm glad Florida has followed suit because, you know, we need to do something with all these school shootings because uh, that institution, there's, there's no magic force field that surrounds that institution. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that's going to prevent someone from going off the campus, coming on the campus and doing what they want to do. And what we should do is put guns in the hands of law-abiding citizens. Because the only thing that's going to stop a, a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. That's exactly right. Now, Mike, let me hit you on this. Now, we see the, uh, the situation. We have a lot of open carry groups here in the Texas area, especially here in Austin. Now, we recently, uh, I think we were both there at this recent gun rally two or three weeks ago. And you can walk into the Texas Capitol with a concealed weapon on your hip, and that's fine. But now uh, Texas DPS, for some reason, is saying if you want to even step onto the Capitol grounds <laughs> with a displayed rifle, something that's completely legal in the state of Texas, for our viewers who don't know, if you have a pre-1899 pistol, you can wear that, as well as a, uh, a long gun strapped over your shoulder, carrying in a measure not calculated to cause alarm. So with these new developments, uh, these new policies, I can't even call them laws, right. going on with Texas DPS, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, the, the Department of Public Safety in the state of Texas needs to follow what the legislator has, you know, outlined. You know, and they said that, hey, um, you can, with the concealed hangar license, go into the Capitol, just like you said. You know, you give them your concealed hangar license, you swipe that license, the trooper at the door, you know, sees your information on the screen. You can testify before a Texas State House committee with the handgun on you. You can testify before a Texas State Senate committee with the handgun on you. You can sit in the House gallery and watch the debates take place. You can sit in the Senate gallery and watch the debates take place in the mm -hmm. state of Texas with the handgun on you. And that's why I love Texas. <laughs> so uh, they need to adhere to those rules that the legislator have written out, um, and we should be able to open carry on the grounds. I don't know why they're creating new rules um, and, and something needs to be done. And I hope that we get some new people in office, that we actually come out and vote and get these, you know, some of these old guys out of here. Exactly. Maybe that'd be another topic for another time. But in the time we have, just give us your information on how people can get a hold of you and check up on your work. All right. Um, you can go to our website, which is centraltexasgunworks.com. You can find us on Facebook at Central Texas Gunworks. Um, you can also, we're on Twitter at Centex Guns. Uh, definitely check out our website. Um, on our website, we have latest news and announcements. So there you can, you know, look at different things that we're working on. We're working on multiple uh, things in the coming year, and we're going to make some announcements and some other things. So definitely check out our website and, you know, come on into the store, go to our website and purchase a firearm legally using Bitcoin. Bitcoins. All right. <laughs> Michael Cargill, thank you for your time, man. Hey, thank you for having me. That's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. And if you say, hey, I want my guns, I want my freedom, I want my bitcoins, I want everything that is America, you need to stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up the classic Come and Take a T-shirt on sale right now at the InfoWars shop. Also, stop by PrisonPlanet.tv and get yourself a free trial. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson for the InfoWars Nightly News, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.